So some talk about what to do with the extra shreds that you've got building up in your shredder bin. So one idea is to go ahead and get a marinade started so that you've got some material when it's time to cover food or when it's time to start a new bed or harvest and come up with new bedding. Um, so what I've done here is I used the other side of the screenings, you know, those, those pieces and little balls that don't go through the screen. And I marinated them with some water and kind of broke them up and made a nice marinade and put a bunch of shreds and started a marinade bin. Um, and I've just added some soft paper to the top that I'm gonna mix in. So this has finely ground eggshell, really pretty much eggshell powder. And it's got some, of course, my signature garlic and onion skins and scapes and um, stems or, or little root areas. Um, it's got some paper, some cardboard, and some thicker paper from some non-corrugated boxes. So it's kind of got a harder texture. Some, some of those shreds are kind of hard, so this is great to get them pre-composting, softening up, so that when it is time, it will be just a little bit softer. The microbes will have been working on it. And it should be just right for transporting microbes, oxygen, being food for the whole system, giving the wormies some nice cellulose fiber-ish that they can digest because they have cellulase. We can't digest it, but they can with their enzymes. Kind of Christmassy, looks like snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. I could have used two gloves for this today. Lots of textures in here. Well, I think this could be just a little bit more Christmassy. the holiday cookies, so to speak, the holiday brownies, something. So this isn't a working farm right now, it's a, it's a marinating bedding station. It's okay if it wicks up some moisture. I just don't want all the microbes to dry out. I like the microbes in here. I want to keep the material microbe rich. So, I'm going to go ahead and give that top layer a nice dousing. Now, if you live in a humid environment, you might not need to do this, but I would check on it and just make sure that it's not wicking up the moisture and making the material below drier than ideal for farming microbes. <laughs> Look real snow. You can see how much as they get wet, they get just a little bit fluffier. Just don't eat the yellow part. <laughs> so this is my snow iced 
brownie gift for all my squiggler mates. I wanted to make a brownie surprise with snow on top and you know the sought after stuff. So happy holidays everyone.